You know what I'm saying? And I'm feeling better than I ever felt by standing on what the fuck. I can't sleep at night knowing a nigga extorting me and knowing this shit going on. How the fuck I'm going to sleep comfortable at night? Fact. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that shit. That Fact. shit ain't that. It, I ain't going that way for it. I stand on what I stand on and this shit going to come. How supposed to come and it's coming. And I'm happy I stood on what I stood on. Facts. You still I be look damn, 25 I, though. I be damn, I'm paying another nigga. <laughs> For now, <laughs> younger, it look younger every year. <laughs> I think it's the curls. <laughs> curls for the girls. Yeah. For what? Yeah. Curls for the girls. Which one? Ways for the my babe. <laughs> You're listening to Big Facts with Big Bank and DJ Scream. Live for First Class Sounds, you know who it is. It's DJ Scream, Big Bank, Baby Jade, and everybody's favorite couple has pulled up to Big Fast Cash <laughs> Doll and Tracy T and their newborn, Cashton, yeah, is in the building. So Cashton's going to answer a couple questions, too. You know, the yeah, best Cashton in a minute. <laughs> yeah. What's up with y'all? How y'all feeling? Good, man. I'm Gucci. Hey, yep. Monique. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> I'm good, girl. Oh, I'm not Monique no more. Well, you see, I rapped the other day. You oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Listen. I forgot. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that right there. I'm like, oh. I was just telling him in the car, like, okay, I'm cashed all again. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you had to get in the mode for yeah, a minute. Yeah, because yeah. this is my first interview. I haven't did any. I was like, I'm chilling because, like, filming, you know, it's, it's a That job. shit is hectic. That is different. And then it's like being in the 80s period, it's like you got to wear a certain hairstyle. I got mm-hmm. these ugly 80s wig. Yes, I said it. I told everybody on set. Like the <laughs> ugly press-on nails or no nails, the makeup. But you made that shit look good, though. I tried my best. You made that shit look amazing. Like Yes. That is, it's a... It's a um, what you adjusting. think about acting, though? Like, you like I love acting. Yeah. I love acting, like... You can sit still, like I can sit in one spot in Atlanta and film for four or five months. I ain't got a every weekend, five shows. I'm here, 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 here. I can't diet right. I can't do my skin routine because you got to get up and go. You losing clothes. You losing luggage. You missing flights. You losing mm-hmm. money. It's just like go, 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 go. But when you acting, it's like you really get to settle and be yourself. You can do your skin routine. You can work out. You can diet. You have an idea you of your schedule. With, yes, of, you yeah. know. So now you can plan things. I can be with my, <laughs> yeah. my 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 boys at home. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. it's like it's cool. So they they both like this. Yeah. But how, how did Tracy T and Cash Doll meet each other? I'm just curious. Cause y'all snuck that one yeah, on me. I, did they, did, they, did, they, did, they, did they sneak that on everybody? Did y'all know? Cause I didn't know. Here we it just go. popped out on us. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, that, that. He always make a whole new story. I'm going to tell you. Hold on. No, let don't let him tell y'all. Let's tell him together. All right, you go you say was part. On me. You say the first part. You was on me. And then you was on me, too. No, I wasn't. <laughs> so this is what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell it. Let's say Tracy. <laughs> go back and forth so, with this shit. It's big fact, though. <laughs> this is a big fact here. Okay. He was on me. Yeah. Mm. He was following me on Instagram, whatever. And then I did see him. You know, I was following Meek or whatever. <laughs> And he was playing some of his music or something, and I, I felt like he was hard. So this was a while ago. This was a long time ago. Okay. Yeah, I started. Like um, I was 18 or something. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I started following him, and then boom, he was in my day. <laughs> what'd, you right. say? what'd you say, bro? Gee, what, I, I'm wrong? <laughs> what'd, you, what'd you say? What'd you say? What'd you say? I'm real. Trace? I ain't no telling. What's, What's up, say? Shotty? <laughs> What's going on? What's up? Something? something like that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I'm like. Oh, he was quick with it, you know, but... She was quick with the response, No, too. I wasn't. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so, look, so, look, I'm like, okay, we was kicking it. He tried to... He wanted the feature. He wanted a feature. That would have Yeah, we need to do something. Mm, that after, the after the first <laughs> show, okay, like, we then he wanted to try the feature thing. And then we ended up exchanging numbers. And we was texting, and we talked for a minute. Then we just stopped talking. Like, we stopped talking. Then Clubhouse. Mm. Mm-hmm. Who's on the on the page? And he like, what happened? And I'm like, shit, we should have lost contact, and you know, whatever. And he like, I'm gonna right. tell y'all what it was. She went, she was serious, and I was like, I, I was you, never serious. You can hear, I know, he so you don't know what that. I'm saying. Listen, like you can hear the person voice, like, well, I can't even play with her, boy. I'm playing too much right now. I heard her voice. She went. She went one going. of them. He feel she wasn't going. She nah, going. she went one of them. Like, yeah, she wasn't going. They got to come correct. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. 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 No I ain't tolerating all that. You can hit the shit in the but if we, we talking, kicking it, bro. you know, at friend yeah, stage, you kick it, you kick it. It's like there's no rules when y'all just friends and getting to know each other. But right. you know, I was just like, "What's up?" It was just like, "Yeah," I wasn't on it. Like, okay, we're in a relationship or we're not. It was just that we talked, and I, and I, I'm not playing with all that. 
Yeah. That stuff Tracy was doing yeah. too much. You need to, yeah. So, um. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, yeah, we get on the show. <laughs> <laughs> so then we get on Clubhouse and um, uh, we was playing "Fuck Mary Kill" or something. Then he ended up, uh, and she said my name. She wanted me to marry Kia. See, hey. this why we can never have a foot. Cause he, nah, go ahead, baby. No, nah, no. Ah. Go, ahead. go ahead and lie. Nah, you take the stage, baby. Go ahead and lie. I ain't gonna lie. Go ahead. What happened? I was on you. I said you want to marry Kia and everything else, <laughs> and she is that with the green light. No, y'all. Y'all put it brought it to reality. Yeah. Yeah. Then I end up coming here to film the first season, um, BMF, and yeah. then. I needed a chef. I was like, uh, so I hit him. DM me. <laughs> <laughs> I just said I hit him. I yeah. did. Yeah. And um, asked him for a chef or whatever. And he's like, I'm coming with him. Yeah. You can't use my chef and I ain't coming. So I'm like, like come on. You know, I'm here me. in the A. I don't, I don't kick it with nobody. I'm like, okay, I got me a friend I can kick it with. You know, whatever. And so he kept, he pulled up with the chef and he ain't left. Crazy <laughs> part about that. You remember I was trying to get the chef and he you had him yeah. cooking for her. Exactly. You remember that really? shit? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. I called the dude, he over like, I'm over here cooking for you. Really? That's yeah. crazy. Nah. Yeah, Phil, he came with the chef and he ain't left, y'all. And what, look at him. What's what's the what's the what's look the at big deal? <laughs> 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 look at him, man. <laughs> this is the whole argument. Tracy is not about to let me act like no, you wanted me too. Like he ain't playing that. <laughs> That's our argument all the time. Like, boy, calm down. Obviously, I want your ass. I'm with you. Clearly, it was mutual because now we yes. have casting. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, what's the biggest key in a relationship? Y'all feel like most people are gonna say communication, but what's y'all biggest key for rocking with each other and making it work? I feel like learn how to keep each other happy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You, look, you if you fuck with somebody, all right, you need to know that person. Mm. And shit, as long as everybody's smiling, you know what I'm saying? Right, love language. You feel me? As long as everybody's smiling, mm -hmm. that shit gonna it's gonna outweigh a lot of the frowns. Mm. That's you know what, what I'm saying. Say mm. Yeah, I think sure. it's knowing your person's language for sure. Cause mm. you know, like I could want quality like time her. all the time, and he could want he like his thing. He might think that he needs compliments. To buy you shit. So he thinking, like, oh, I gotta buy her stuff because I like to buy stuff. But at the mm. end of the day, that's not my language. But I just want to sit and watch a movie. You know, or yeah. I just want to feel special, just the little things. So it's like we get, we we really liked each other. I want to go to the Like outside of shit. love, like, we yeah. liked each other a lot and we both wanted it. That's important. I think that's important. Yeah, both want that shit. They would yeah, really want that shit. I think that's important too because if you want it, you're going to always do what you got to do to keep it up. Like, mm. Yeah, so. Yes. But communication is key though. <laughs> I can't lie. <laughs> mm, you got you to Okay, so look, I got a question because. Um, on Big Facts Friday, we had, like, a whole discussion about being toxic, right? So, I said that a lot of people, especially, like, females, when they're toxic in relationships, they're not being toxic because they're trying to be toxic. They just, that's all that they've seen and that's all that they know. So, they really can't help it because they don't know anything else. Mm -hmm. And Black's opinion was that, when you're wrong, you're wrong, and you know you're doing wrong, and blah, 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 whatever, whatever. So It's just like you, right like, now, it's just like right now, both of y'all done had past relationships that probably was toxic. Mm -hmm. But they knowing, I'm not finna come into this new shit toxic because I sure. really want this. Mm -hmm. That for sure. So but, if you're doing something different, then that means when you was in that relationship, you, you knew you were toxic. Mm -hmm. And you, yeah, you knew that shit was just, that's what it was. No, I but they, I feel like they know now, because they've seen different, that they don't want that. But in, in... Yeah. Coming up in the initial stages and the beginning and all of that, the people that are really toxic, I feel like if that's all they've seen and that's all they know and their mamas beat up their niggas and their aunties beat up their boyfriends and their sisters and their cousins used to fight and shoot at their niggas and bust out windows and shit, they don't know anything else. So that's they feel else. like that's how you're supposed to love. Mm -hmm. But you right. still know what's I, right from it's wrong. It's crazy. Both of y'all is both of y'all have a valid point though. You know, cause yeah. I've been around and listening to conversations. And I hear girls like, nah, because I'm just, and I be like, damn, you really take it that far? Right. Like, and I ain't going to lie, I ain't going to sit up here in front. And they just like, didn't I like it's really normal. took it there. I never bust a nigga car windows out. I never sliced no tires. If I'm lying, they'll tell you. You know, but I never <laughs> took it the there. I just be too <laughs> chill. Like, I ain't doing all yeah, that. Yeah, it's not even worth all that. Like, like, it's like, too much. Like, but, but, yeah, it's like, I just be too chill. Like, I'm not doing that. But girls be like, 
Nah, nigga do that, I'm pulling up. So you think she don't know that she's toxic, though, when she doing that? I think she know. She know. That's all I was saying. I think you she know. know, but I think that she, that's what she, that's Accustomed her, to. her language. That's what she, that's how she feel that she expressed her love for the person. Mm. But you know you being toxic. <laughs> that's what but that's if that's all mean. she's ever seen. I think she, she of course, you know, like, they would, like, it made sense. Like, both on, like you say, both on right, because. If that what she she doing, she know that what the fuck she doing. <laughs> <laughs> like it ain't no secret. She know she tripping. But I ain't tripping. Yeah. But I ain't tripping. I'm tripping, but I ain't tripping. But you know how you make it stupid. She, do, she doing what she doing. But do. at the end of the day, these niggas make women toxic. Amen. Mm. Why well, it can't be both ways? Uh-uh. Things both ways. No, no, no. It be them, girl. I'm telling you. We're emotional you don't think creatures a, by you nature. You don't think a woman can make Y'all a man toxic to, though? Like do all of that. Like, they need. Yeah, they, a woman can women, make a man toxic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember? Yeah. You remember yeah. when you the, they make her when toxic? Now you gotta respond like that. That's shit. So that's oh, like man. here we go with this shit. What I was saying. Here we go with this shit. What I was saying about toxic shit. I think that toxic shit. Think about it. In a relationship, girls be all in head over heels. Da da da. That, that ain't dude, how, that ain't that how it go in high school and middle school and shit. Nope. Once abroad done abroad done broke a nigga script. heart and he done turned toxic. Every I'm nigga. Just saying. Damn. Every nigga abroad, you know, got it home. A broken <laughs> nigga heart and he done went toxic. I ain't never heard Scream talk <laughs> like that. I'm just saying. It's the <laughs> truth, yeah, though. Please. It's the truth. Man, let me I'm get a shot of this shit. Go for it. Take a shot. Please. Go for it. This is crazy. Them facts, Scream. You know what I'm saying? Like, it starts somewhere. It don't just start. It As adults, man, look at this nigga. And it started at home. It started with his mama. Mm-hmm. It does start with his mama. And it can start. It can start with her. It can start with her daddy. But who started? And that, and I'm finishing it. <laughs> right now, telling y'all that y'all started. Dude well, started. And, and, yeah, because like I said, journey, women are emotional your journey, by nature. Did you break a heart first, or was your heart broken in your my life My heart journey? was broke. My, well, my first, my heart was broken first. Okay. Before that, you, heart, before that, you never broke a heart. Before that, have I ever broke a heart? Side eye. You saw I don't that think side not eye. as far as you know. <laughs> not yes. as far as you know what I'm saying? Yeah, not as far as you know. See, the one thing about women, though, they, they got a reason why they don't feel like they broke your heart. But a nigga can feel like my heart was broke. Right. She can say that and feel like what I did wasn't really shit because I told you I don't want you no more. This shit could have destroyed this man, though. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. that's your fault because how? Because you a man, you supposed to take that shit. <laughs> you a man, you supposed to deal with that shit. Yeah, you a man. <laughs> because at the end of the day, it didn't work. What? How am I wrong? Because I don't want this. No, I, you're not I was wrong. 100. But, but you're not wrong. But you still could have broke his heart though. He could have. He could have had his whole heart. He in it's heart. levels to this heartbreaking shit. Facts. Oh God. True story. Let's be clear. Them facts. True them facts. Story. True okay, because that's the. It's that's malice, the heartbreak, and unintentional heartbreak. There you go. Exactly. Okay, yeah, you're right, but so, still, yeah. if your heart broke at the end, it's still broke. 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 That motherfucker ain't it's, broke. <laughs> it's broke. But and you know, like I, I respect certain heartbreaks because some of them be you was communicate with me, you kept it real, you didn't mislead me, you didn't make me have to find out you didn't want me no more. You told me mm-hmm. I don't want this no more. But then some of them just be massive, man. Yeah, and then you got an Facts. ignorant heartbreak. Due to lack of communication. Mm, yeah. I'm going to go for that. Yeah. Because mm. I don't think they going to communicate before the heart broke. You know what I'm saying? He going to know that's coming. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She going to know that's coming. However, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's going to be in the air. Yeah, it's going to be in the air. Yeah, so you need to coming. strap up your boots, big dog. Yeah, shit is about man. To go it's coming. Yeah. 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 Poke out your, poke out your chest and punch your feet. When a woman is trying to tell you, listen, until she, when she stops, when she stops talking and stop trying to tell you what you're doing, oh, yeah, you're how dead, to fix Fred. it, it's over. You're dead. So when she's yeah. talking, vice versa, though. listen. Mm-hmm. It's vice versa, though. But some nah, dudes but don't niggas know how to express talking, they stuff. And some... niggas will stop communicating yes. like before anything has ever happened because they don't necessarily know how to get out what they're trying to get out, not because it's necessarily something that the woman has done. Exactly, exactly. And it be like that. That's why. Yeah, let's get into that. That's let's why every that. other week. Yeah. <laughs> she said some shit there. Well, yeah. Every <laughs> other week, me and Tracy got to have a, you good? We be chilling. You are? Okay, well, I'm good. You no, know, we don't you get know? to that point because we, 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 we put that shit in, the, in each other's face. Like, like yeah. Like, we, got we, to. We, we, you got to talk. You got to. Yeah. I don't you ain't like talking. You ain't with your folks. Like, what the fuck y'all together for if y'all can't even communicate yeah. on them levels? Y'all going to sit down and have a silent arguments or something? Mm-hmm. That shit just build other problems. Mm-hmm. Now you, now there's other shit going on. Cut the smile shit. That when shit you builds really resentment. Just, yeah, mm-hmm. when you really cut yes. the jet, you know what I'm saying? Put it on the table. Mm-hmm. So yeah, well, every other week, you good? I'm good. You How good? you feeling, babe? 
I'm good. You know what I'm saying? What we doing, babe? All right, you good? Yeah. yeah. Shit, we, you know what I'm saying? That's my player partner, man. That's my girl. That's my baby mama. That's everything. That's my player partner, you know what I'm saying? My dog. I ain't met one right like her. That's my so, nigga. You know what I'm saying? We good. Aww. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Uh, is, it, is it important for, for, for y'all to, like, be fans of each other, too, and critics of each other? Hell is that yeah. important? Hell she yeah. got me dropping this shit like I'm dropping this shit. She got me back you dropping this shit. You told me that. You told me that on the phone. I was yeah. dead serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Shout out to put that batter in my back. Like, hey, man, what you doing? You too? Mm-hmm. Like, come on. Well, you, that would take cash because I don't Neither, try everything dog. to get him to drop his music. It's too hard. Like, <laughs> it don't make Facts. sense. And I done watched this man record himself, set his mic up, do it, send it to get mixed, and just, like, I'm an artist that I don't, I never did that myself. So I was like, mm-hmm. and then you just wrote this. You sometimes mm-hmm. don't write, just gonna go in, go in, go in. I'm like, oh, mm-hmm. you fancy. You need to be doing this, you know what I'm saying? Right. I'm like, this for real, like, niggas Fake. be making that money. Like, I'm like, come on a now, 200, 300, 400 a show. You need that. <laughs> we, you know what I'm saying? We, we, we need, need money. Need money. Yeah. We need it. <laughs> you know what I'm Don't saying? Yeah. yeah. No yeah. way. And everybody fuck with him. We outside. Fact. It's mad respect. Everybody yeah. got love for him. It's like, that's what you're supposed to be doing. And you passionate about it. It takes some people to bring certain shit out of some out of people. Because yeah, yeah, he bring out certain yeah, stuff in me. Like, I was, you heard my music? Fuck a nigga. For mm-hmm. sure. Like, I was serious. <laughs> now it's like I got a soft spot. Like, I really, I, I feel womanly. Like, uh, you know? uh, All right, don't make me feel too good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's have out of it. Yeah, okay. I'm still a G. Yeah. I'm still a G. <laughs> I'm still from the D. <laughs> And then Cashy came, now I'm just soft. Like, yeah. it's just over. Like, yeah. He runs shit for real. He the one running all this shit. Yeah, the he runs shit. The baby the boss. Yeah, he, yeah, he running this shit. Yeah. yeah. The baby the what, you think, what you think it was that was just making you, like, hesitate or procrastinate on putting the music out? Because I was doing everything else. I put more energy and time to everything else. But what the fuck I need to be putting my time into. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, I got this shit, but when this shit ain't making money, life going on, it hard to... Put a lot of energy into a song when you ain't got no residual out this shit, mm-hmm. no income out the shit. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, damn. You think that's a uh, that's a that's that's really like a curse of a nigga who already have emotion. Mm-hmm. You think that really kind of cursed their career, like shit? Yeah, I'm cause a- some nigga go hard when they ain't got nothing else. When they ain't got that, but like, this shit gotta work. Yeah. That's all they gonna do. Yeah, yeah. So mm-hmm. yeah, it'd be like a curse. Yeah, you like, already yeah, you. You already you. Yeah, this the music, music ain't make me. Yeah, exactly. I made me. The street made me. Yeah, exactly. So mm-hmm. it's hard to give it to get that shit all when you got other shit going on. Facts. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? No, for legit really. shit, all kind of shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And Tracy ain't he ain't he ain't gonna be broke. Nah. He ain't doing it. <laughs> Never he, have. He Hell gonna nah. go left. <laughs> right. right. And his attention mm-hmm. could be on this, on the music. But if you feel like, man, shit ain't make me no money, I got, I like money. She need he to work today. Go right back <laughs> over here. Yeah, I'm putting out 20, 30, hey, 40,000 right here. Right. I need 80,000 back tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? And, and you know what this music shit. I can't be shit. hoping this shit come back and they don't got that. I done spent that money like, yeah. damn. I spent this shit and ain't got nothing. Like, come on, man. And then, but you know what comes, you got some sacrifices. You know what I'm so saying? So that's what like, she done taught a nigga a lot, a lot. Like, like, sometimes you got to weigh that shit out. Exactly. Because for the longevity, the right long mm-hmm. term, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. like I get them though. Because I was, you know, I was dancing back in 2013. And I stopped making $26,000 one night, 9000 one night, uh, 7000 one night to, oh, I'm about to trust this dream and making $800 a show. And my shows ain't coming in like that. I trusted it. I just dropped that shit and just trusted it. And I believe that I reap the benefits by keeping mm-hmm. my faith. Mm-hmm. And right. Hey, so that's why I be trying to tell him like shit. I was doing this too, babe. But mm-hmm. you gotta just have faith and just believe and be patient. Keep it going. You know what I'm saying? Because when you have a gift, you got it for a reason. For and sure. Like, mm-hmm. You should use for it. Show. You for sure. For sure. You have to I nourish mean, it so it can flourish. Yes, you do. And I ain't gonna lie, since I got wood and I've been dropping this shit, it been going up and up and up and up and up. So it's like, all right. She might know what she's talking <laughs> you know what about. Saying? All right. I might need that. All right. That would a nigga right, need it, man. Right, right. This shit making sense now. You know what I'm saying? They paying attention and shit. All right. Well, let me keep dropping this shit then. For sure. You think yeah. some of that shit that, that might have slowed you down was like just having. Weird deals or just the deals of course, and all that type I a, of stuff. I mean, I ain't gonna say weird deals. 
weird situations yeah. with deals. Because you had like three of them, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah we get into that. It was what happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? Your, first, your first deal was with homie uh, that Cube, passed away. R.I.P. You got, yeah. yeah. That was Cube. Swagger Right. When he had Swagger, Swagger Right check. was out. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Then got that MMG. What happened with that? Everything was cool, but shit. It was just, um, there's some shit over my head that I ain't go for. That, that, that makes sense. I don't know uh, what. You got to break it down, Trey. Uh, oh, you signed too? We were riding the same time. I was, I was. Oh. All right. Yeah. Let's get it. Yeah. Man, oh, okay. I'm signed with Maybach, right? Yeah. Boom. Nigga come with a, everything going smooth. A nigga come with a fake contract who I used to talk to fuck with in 09. Talking about, he was supposed to be in management. Mm -hmm. But this fuck nigga put, he come with a whole Label. fake contract. Whole Label. fake contract with my, with my signature on the contract. And come to find out him and Rose cool. So they try, I'm like, hold on. Nigga trying to slick and start me or something? Oh, so the nigga came with the contract like he want to be, he want in on your MMG. Yeah, country. and then Rose telling me shit, just go go with it. I'm like, go with it. No, what the hell y'all got going on? But you gonna have to give up more, or it was gonna be the same. Was he gonna get to him out of his point? Get, man, it was a fucked up contract where my name was on. So oh. what the fuck I'm finna go forward with it for? Hey, I'm, I done came too far for that. Yeah, I sit this shit out before I got damn let a nigga stop me like that. So what ain't no happen? Shit, I got with my lawyer and I got him got me out the contract. Okay, out of both of them. It went, the other one wouldn't didn't exist. That was some fake shit, man. So why so why the hell we had to get out the other? Why we got to get Cause the nigga went, the nigga act like he was he was fucking with what home was saying. Oh. Uh. So it's like damn, I'm like I'm signed to you, you the nigga think I'm lying or something. You know what I'm saying? I'm like damn, I'm like fuck this shit. Then y'all nigga ain't finna be acting funny with me and goddamn <laughs> fuck I'm on the label for. Yeah. I yeah. kept it all the way silent. And I ain't finna I, I ain't finna be uncomfortable or no sucker for none of this shit. You know what I'm saying? And I'm feeling better than I ever felt by standing on what the fuck. I can't sleep at night knowing a nigga extorting me and knowing this shit going on. How the fuck I'm going to sleep comfortable at night? Fact. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that shit. That Fact. shit ain't that. It, I ain't going that way for it. I stand on what I stand on and this shit going to come. How supposed to come and it's coming. And I'm happy I stood on what I stood on. Facts. You still damn, look 25, I, I be damn, I'm paying another nigga. <laughs> For now, <laughs> younger, he look younger, younger every year. I think it's the curls. <laughs> the curls for the girls. Yeah. For what? Yeah. Curls for the girls. Which one? Ways for the my babe. <laughs> <laughs> curls for my. Uh, curls for my girl. <laughs> Ways for my babe. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> yes, oh, yeah, oh, my God. You just gotta keep pushing whatever it is. Yeah, yeah for man. sure. Yeah, keep it, that keep shit going. better than it ever sitting. been right now, man. Yeah. And I'm happy. I'm happy. Everything's smooth. Ain't no bad blood or none of that. But you oh, no, nah, it wasn't never no bad blood. Rose got down. It was he was pushing for a nigga. He was fucking yeah. with a nigga like strong. Yeah. He did some shit. He pushed for a nigga. Like, you know what I right. mean? Mm -hmm. So I respect that. But just as a business man, I just don't feel that was a good business decision for me to stay right there and right. this type of shit that's going on. Right. Yeah. You know right. what I'm saying? Sure. Cause I got mad little phone. After I got out the contract, I dropped the project. I mean, before I dropped the project, he jumped on it, making mm -hmm. sure he jumping on my shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it wasn't right. never no bad blood. It was just when I went going for the business that was going on. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because that matter at the end of the yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. Like this shit that's gets blowing money. up. This nigga gonna be, other oh, nigga gonna be all in my pocket. Mm hmm. What the fuck I'm gonna do that for? And let no nigga take that. Come yeah, on, nah. man. I came too far to let a nigga do me like that, man. Facts. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. Big Cash, how, how, how much can you tell us, although not enough, about BMF season two? What can you tell us? Man, that shit crazy. Okay. It's crazy. What, about yeah. Lamar? what can he you tell us, Jay? Huh? What can you tell us? Hello. 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 <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> hold on. She's not here right now. Yeah, right. hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's going to be really good. It's better than the first season. Okay. That shit going to be off the chain. Okay. Um, For real. It's crazy. The story is just crazy, man. That's it. Because I don't want to say something to 50 like cash. Right, 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 right. You know? Right, <laughs> yeah, right. them folks be tripping. Yeah, they be tripping on set, <laughs> man. So. When you got the call for it, like, did it seem real? What? Listen. First off, <laughs> look. I used to, I was, it's so crazy because 
I DM 50. I was just in his DM. Put me in something. I'm sending him videos of me acting like I'm shooting shit. Like, I really know how to, I really know how to do this acting shit. 50, put me in something. <laughs> so, he ain't seen it until um, after, you know, I end up getting it or whatever. But I always wanted to work with 50. Like, mm -hmm. that's my dog right there. Mm -hmm. And, um... So when they told me, like, BMF is cast and they about to start filming, I'm like, shit, hell yeah. All right, what I got to do? So they sent me the script, everything. I did, Um, it was around COVID time. So, you know, you had to do the, do the read and, yeah, all, the that read and all that on camera. So I sent in a video and it was like, she called and I'm from D. So it was like a little leverage I had yeah, there. Yeah. Then um, I had to send another one for another person, which was Monique. And they mm. wanted to see if I can ace that. And I sent it in. And 50 called me himself. Mm. So I'm like, hello? And he like, what's up, Cash? You know his voice. You know? And I'm like, 50, you calling me to tell me I got the role? Like, what's up? Yeah. I'm like, tell me right now. He like, yeah. I'm like, I was just happy as hell. It was like a day, like, my dad passed. And it was on my dad's birthday. I'd be sad. And that's the mm. day he called me. I just be feeling like everything aligned and yeah, stuff. I'm, yeah, for sure. I'm a real mm. spiritual person, but I ain't going to go sure. there. But, um, so, I was just excited because it's like, growing up in Detroit, BMF was like the biggest. Mm -hmm. They were the biggest ballers. For you know sure. what I'm saying? Like, I was young, but I knew my mom, my uncles, everybody, they was into that. So yeah. um, it was like, hold on, I'm about to be a part of BMF. The story, a series at 50 producing, like, it can't get no yeah. better. So mm. that was surreal. And I'm just grateful and honored to be a part of it. You had played in a couple, couple of movies before, right? Hell yeah, in Detroit, Buffed Up, 211. I always wanted to act. Like Buffed Up, that shit was it. Buffed yeah, Up was yeah. good. Yeah, the Cartier, you know, Detroit, yeah. we love them buffs, and yeah, the, yeah. that's our thing. And um, You killed yeah, that shit. And then, I think it's on two, two beat, um now or something Man, like just that. Google that shit. You'll find You'll it. You'll find it, it yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so I, I always wanted to do the acting. I just was, you know, waiting for my opportunity, keeping my faith and doing everything I could do, because I did Birds of a Feather, too. Which, oh, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I did that, yeah, mm -hmm. so... For y'all brands, people who have brands and followings, like how do y'all balance, like putting on for y'all fans, but keeping people out your business, if that makes sense. Like you gotta let people in your business, but keep them out. Like what's the science of that? Because y'all seem to do real good at it. I be the one fucking shit up. She, what you mean? She good at it. Oh, okay. Tracy don't care, honey. I just uploads some shit without thinking. She she oh she uploads shit. She got them. Yeah. Let it marinate, know how she can see strategic with the shit. Yeah. Me, I just, boom, 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 boom. boom post right. the shit. Like, damn, why you ain't? <laughs> <laughs> can't, you know take it, can't take it down now. I think I, I got it under control now. Like, with, with me, not him. He's mm. uncontrollable. <laughs> um, But <laughs> I got it under control with the balance and the privacy and still giving him something because I've been through it. I've been doing this since 2014, you know, and mm -hmm. I've learned how too much could do and how none, nothing, too less could do. So I just found out, okay, I can give them this, I can give them that, because I've always been in, like, private relationships. This is my first time ever attempting to do something like this. So mm. I'm like, you know what? They don't know that. And, and I felt like people thought I was too hard as a woman. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't know me. They just get my music, they get what I upload, and that's it. You don't know that I'm really a sweetheart. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So it's like once people start seeing a little softer side of me, I start seeing, I start gaining different fans and different people because mm -hmm. now they can relate to me more. Right. And so I'm like, okay. And then when me and him met and we like, our chemistry was there and it was like genuine, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try it. I'm going to try this. Yeah, let's see how this let's shit goes. Let's just see. You know what's yeah. the worst can happen. You know mm. what I'm saying? And so I just balancing this out really that's why i don't want my son on the internet just yet because mm. i can't take it y'all i'll be ready i'm the detroit gonna come right, out right, over right. cash crash out by them it's kids. coming out i'm pulling <laughs> up crash out them mask i said you pull up with the mask on <laughs> don't even play with them y'all don't even play hey, she hey, jet pop serious. the fucking trunk <laughs> she jet serious now <laughs> So oh, yeah, that, that I just feel like is uh, you give them some because you want to let them in, you want them to know, but you gotta also have some things to yourself. You yeah. Protect yeah. your peace, man. You gotta filter that shit. Yeah, protect your peace. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Tracy T, your your podcast is on your Instagram. You be doing ah. game 
all day long on your Instagram. So you got your podcast. Yeah, you got to come to the Big Fat Friday when we just be sitting around talking about regular subjects. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm definitely coming. Oh, nah, we got to get you on the wait. No. Yeah, you're going to love that. Next <laughs> tape and have them now, Screen. We're gonna, sure. we're, I can't we're, wait. We're going to four of them, four of them every time. So. Yeah. I can't wait. Nah, yeah. that should be dope, though. Because yeah. I, I just feel like, man, you know, the Instagram platform, it just... Not even the Instagram platform in the world, man. We in, man. This shit so crazy, so fucked up in so many different directions of thoughts. Mm-hmm. When the got the, when the basics, the basics is where everything blossom off of. So we gotta take this shit back to the basics, the real code, the real shit. Facts. Mm-hmm. And I, I be that's what that's what a lot, a lot of folk ain't they don't give a fuck about none of that no more. So yeah. it's like I still stick to that, I still live by that. You know what I'm saying? So when I say this shit, it be what I be want to say, what other motherfuckers be want to say. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You think, just don't you, say it. You think standing yeah. on certain codes and, and uh, more of these days make you like a... Dinosaur? Yeah. You know what, because I be like, damn. How y'all don't nobody don't do that shit no more. Yeah, yeah, don't nobody like, stand on shit no more. Don't, 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 it ain't no code. They don't, not. And I just be like, damn. I just stay away from it. Stick to what I'm doing and stay in my own bubble, man. I think that's what everybody do just like... That's yeah. the, but that but is that the problem though? That's the problem. That is the problem. That, that is everybody's problem. just going in the shell like shit. I'm just gonna make sure my people straight. Yeah, that's the problem. Cause it's hard to that shit hurt you another it hurt another way when you trying to you know what I'm saying? And that shit ain't coming like that when you really put it out there like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You could try to get you could try to get these niggas and try to do shit, but they so fucked up right now. It's it's, it's Give me right back. Give me right back. You go ahead. You said it's so fucked up with You said it's so fucked up with Trey. It's so fucked up. Yeah. 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 So fucked up it make you it make you don't even want to tap into cut it like you would put that time and energy into trying to better different situation with people and niggas ain't respecting none of it period mm-hmm. they ain't what they, they don't give a fuck about that it really put you in it yeah yeah and so now i'm missing whole other shit because mm-hmm. did what you got going on well, really i'm trying to better your situation yeah right so for to keep to protect my motherfucking peace and to prevent the cross contamination. Right, right, right. I'm gonna stay in my way. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know what yeah. I'm saying. What's the difference yeah. though between like, let's say, when you was coming up and you older people might have been trying to tell you, hey, Tracy, he calm. respected it. You respected it. You feel like That's you respected it. it. I was, I, I, I so, I was a sponge. I yeah, was exactly. one of those niggas who I sat around older niggas. I ain't sit around. Exactly. I sat around older niggas and. On yeah. purpose. Yeah. 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 Trying to learn. Yeah. Exactly. Right That's now. the difference. Yeah. 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 These days, niggas already know. Yeah, they already they know. Already, they already figured out. Already yeah. know. Huh? Know. We saw yeah, but, but I'm just saying, the but niggas in their mind, I already the know. The internet already, already yeah. told me. I already know. So they done been through it all. Yeah, yeah, exactly. On the they internet. They done been through shit. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So how you know? Right. You feel me? Everything I know from experience. Exactly. Right. Right. I'm my watching my folks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, it's all what you want out this shit in the end of the day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They can play any role they want to, but what you want out this shit, it gonna show. You were saying to the young folks, I think the other day your thing was, man, just get you some money, right? That's yeah. what you were saying. Like I'm saying, right? get your money, but just don't get the money. Know what you want to do. Because you money. can get the money, and that shit ain't nothing. Yeah. Then you can lose that shit quick as you get it. Yeah. Just gotta know what you're gonna do with this shit and know how to lose. Yeah. So, like, so, what is, so what advice would you give to a young nigga with you being the hustler that you are, the entrepreneur, you know, with you From knowing both how of y'all, because both like, of y'all get yeah, money. Yeah, get that bad. shit, maintain it, flip it, and make it grow. Yeah. What advice would you give to a young nigga or a, a young female that's trying to, you know, step into the hustler world, the entrepreneur world, but they're kind of like starting out flat? It's going it, to, everybody start out flat. You know what I'm saying? It just take your, your hustle, your ambition, you got to want it. That's the difference between somebody want it and somebody who think it's supposed to be come to them. You gonna get out there and get that shit, and you gotta want it, man. You gotta want it. If you want it, go get it. It's so many fucking ways to get some money out here, man. More than ever. It's so more, many more ways. More than ever. Mm-hmm. Ain't no excuse. It's yeah. ain't no excuse. More it's than so ever. many ways to get you, you some cheese. You ain't gotta leave your house. You feel me? Especially you know that I mean? you on your phone, you can yeah. sit back and work your phone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they paying a nigga to do reels. Now. You see what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you feel me? And nigga want to do everything else, but get the money. Nigga want to make excuses. Yeah, excuses ain't bringing them no cheese. Niggas ain't feeling sorry for nigga no more, man. Hell nah. Yeah. Especially when it's so much money, I had a nigga to gain you the game to get the money. Yeah. Shit, you know what? You, you fumbling. So you gotta take that. You gotta look in that mirror at that point. You know what I'm saying? Then when you make a, you know, oh God! You gotta look in that mirror, oh make a second decision. Like, hey man, this gonna this gonna work or it ain't. This what I'm gonna be. This what I'm gonna be. Yeah. This what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Stop yeah. playing out here in these streets. What? Yeah. 
Stop yeah. playing because time <laughs> going, boy. Hey, the yeah. Tracy T and podcast I, on the way, yeah, man. In, in, our, in our era, I guess it was hustlers. It was raised as hustlers. Nah, it was hustlers. Yeah. Yeah, everybody but was raised see, our hustlers. music was some hustle shit, too. We've been here before. A lot of our music was some player shit. Some hustle shit. There was some gangster shit, but a lot of it was some hustle shit. Mm -hmm. That's what we hear over and over and over. Now over. everybody just stick slanging now. That was switch slanging. That, that, that was going that on. That's what it is, though. Man. But you got, we just got to go back to I, our parents around their age. At first, they were hustling, the bootleggers, like before folks. They were bootleggers. Yeah. Then, then, then the generation came of our parents. They were the smokers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then yeah. the smokers made us hustlers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I right, while we hustling, what we made our kids? Mm. They don't be spoiled as hell. <laughs> spoiled. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Entitlement. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You made yeah. a bunch of entitlement. And I swear I pray. Every That's what it night. is. Exactly when I what pray it is. for him, when I pray for my family, I pray that I have a good balance on spoiling him and him knowing what responsibilities is and being motivated to make his own money. Mm -hmm. So he just got his first booking. He got booked to take y'all booked up already, man. He already mm. made him, he can't even walk. He already got him an account. You know, I got him set up to where, and I can't wait for he for him to learn, oh, you want that ice cream? You're going to use your money, and you're going to buy it because that's what you want. So, I, yeah. but I think our kids is going to be spoiled because as hustlers, we don't want them to go through what we Facts. went through. Yeah. And, but do, do spoiling them make them feel entitled? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why I was just saying, I'm praying yeah. that I... Have a balance there. I'm I'm one of us. I'm yeah, a hustler, so exactly. right. I'm like I'm praying I got balance there because they become spoiled. Tracy got some spoiled kids. Like a month, two right? my babies too. They spoiled. You got a son that just graduated too, right? Yeah. Okay. Jake committed to Middle Tennessee. Okay. Yeah. Football scholarship. Okay. That's all right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. That's all right. Spoiled. Spoiled. But he, but he's, a, but he, I think he deserved it. Too. He a great. But see, yeah, yeah, yeah. He. he he handled it business. Yeah. yeah. He, you know he graduated saying? from school, great grades. He's respectful. He ain't out doing crazy stuff. He, yeah. He, he good. Well, so, I don't know, y'all, with our kids. We just got to just do our best. <laughs> yeah, I feel you on that. What's the hardest part of being a hustler and a parent? Like the, Being away from them. Being away from Being away from kids. cash, and I be dying. Yeah. I call every three minutes. What are you doing? Hey, Bubba, what are you doing? Yeah. And then they like, can you stop calling? It's like I be like, even though I need that me time, because for me to be a, a good mom, I have to go do things that I like and enjoy myself. And right. just so when I come back, I'm refreshed. Like, I got to do that. But it's like I can miss him, but still, I mean, I can want to have my little me time, but I still miss him. So I think that's the hardest part. Mm -hmm. And making the most, making all that money and they, you want to give them everything. And so how you not give your baby? I'm just looking at this, these chains and all this stuff. I just want to give him everything. Fucking right. How he gonna think he gotta work for something? Yeah, he got it all. Yeah. yeah. So I think that's yeah. a that that's the them the hardest gift things. and the curse. That's the dilemma. Yeah. 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 And it's just learning because I didn't have it. I'm the oldest of six, so my mama had fucking five of us at 21. Mm. So I didn't. We didn't have nothing. So as soon as I was able to work, yeah, I'm about to get them. I'm getting them Jordans. This money is mine, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, and I had to hustle and get my stuff. I'm like, I don't know how this going to turn out, but. Mm. You think the struggle make people stronger, though? For yeah. sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. The one, the, it's the ones, the golden child, because every every struggle didn't make a lot of people stronger. You, uh -huh. they, you can see it when you see them. Mm. Some, they it just, broke some people. Yeah, it broke some people. Yeah. So I think it's just the chosen ones that made us stronger and like nah i'm coming about this yeah, ain't laying break that curse yeah. man ain't laying so, down. Yeah, yeah, yeah like i ain't going out like that like and you gotta have some type of pride up in there like hell no i ain't going out like that yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like hell no nah. oh yeah we just had another conversation um big fat friday y'all think it take a certain amount of arrogance to even be successful yes mm -hmm. yes Yes. Cash Doll came to a video shoot I did for one of my records. I'll never forget. <laughs> it was so long ago, right? And I know she was like, "Nigga, I'm, I'm it." And I just believed her. <laughs> I ain't heard a song yet. <laughs> I ain't heard a song yet. <laughs> I'm the one. <laughs> Believe she must. Like, is she it? Yeah. Just the confidence. That's why I was saying arrogance per se ain't bad. Like, but confidence is the foundation of arrogance. Yes. Yeah. Because you're not gonna overly believe that you're it unless you have the confidence within yourself sure. to be like, I'm yeah. finna tell these motherfuckers that I'm it. Yeah. And I know that I'm it and I'm finna make yeah. them believe I'm it. Yeah. Like, right. But it's it's a like, tactful yeah. way too, like I like like we were saying, then the next level is cockiness. Now cockiness is people who just be kinda capping sometime and don't yeah. have no receipts. Not really. Yeah. Not you really. can't say that though. Not really. Cause, cause, cause guess what? 
I'm gonna tell you, it, once you done, once you done, got them prevailed and off of, off of your confidence, yeah. you gonna be cocky on certain motherfuckers yes. that doubted you. Yes, nah, that just come with it. Yeah, sure. they, you owe them yeah. that. That just yes. come with this yeah. shit. Yes, you owe them yeah, that. I owe I'm you. Talking I'm, talking yeah. I'm talking about the. Well, I'm, I'm cocky then. I owe some niggas. <laughs> that's real shit. Nigga. I'm too. cocky then. That's, 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 that's some Atlanta shit, man. Cause this is him. I be like, babe, he don't even deserve that. Don't even give him that energy. Nah, that nigga, fuck nigga. No, no, no. I be like, oh my god. He gonna get this. Go. Yeah, you gotta get to him. See me, I just, I play, I'm just play everything so smooth like cuz I don't but everybody's different mm. so I don't fault him for being like that cuz that's how he expresses himself but mm. me it's like a person that did that to me and they come back around it's like yeah, all right you see me though mm. that's all I need to know that you seen it and you felt my energy when I was around you it's felt my presence yeah. Though. yeah but it's like it's I don't yeah, that's what I'm saying we all got just verbal. Verbal. no he let, just verbal yeah, yeah, let, yeah, let me tell you yeah. I'm not saying that I'm not cuz okay, I am okay okay, okay. okay. <laughs> I'm saying she like we got it. our different way, like that's his way of it. Yeah, yeah, and okay, then mine yeah. be like that. Cause I'm like, yeah, you see me iced up. You see me, yeah, you see where I'm at. You see me on BMF. You see me on Instagram. You see me with all the fly shit on. Yeah. You see yeah. all this shit. Pot but I shit. know you seen it, so I'm good. Yeah. He gonna Fake fuck, time. Nigga, nigga yeah. look, nigga, yeah. Yeah. nigga told y'all nigga, what's yeah. happening? Yeah. What's happening? Yo, y'all nigga thought, yeah, all right. Check me out, you see me, nigga. And he gonna say something about it. Why the billboard up? You gotta see me, nigga. For y'all nigga to see me. And I just me. I just be laughing because he's so fucking funny. He mean that shit. And I love it because it's so funny. What's your crazy. Side, Trace? I'm a Libra. Okay, I fuck with oh, Libra. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah what day your birthday? The Selma Otto. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, man. Libra. Balance that shit out. Wear well on the Libra scale. Yeah, Libra the only side most most uh compatible. Compatible, with compatible yeah. yeah. Aquarius. I was praying for a Libra. I got one. Yeah. 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 What you what are you? I'm a Capricorn. You're a Capricorn? Oh, yeah. that's what Cash is. He's a Capricorn. I'm a Pisces. I'm yeah. a Cancer. Pisces, cool. Yeah. Everybody okay, in cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What you here, buddy? Gemini. We taught it. Yeah. 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 Virgo's cool. Virgo's cool, though. 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 Virgo's but I know I, 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 I what, you know, we we learn the words on on the Big Fat Friday too. Mm. So I set accountability. Mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. I don't got it all. I got a glitch. He's yeah. cognizant yeah. of a the glitch fact. in your matrix. Yeah, yeah, that he does not. Yeah, I'm cognizant of the fact that, that I have burnt. a glitch. He glitch. He's burnt. <laughs> yeah. And I, that I need to. What's the other word? Uh, uh, Ameliorate. Ameliorate. I need to ameliorate, ameliorate. the situation. That means I need to fix it. Y'all, yeah, Atlanta you, shit. Damn, you went there. Huh? Ameliorate. Yeah. yeah. All right, that's <laughs> one of them, baby. We got to ameliorate like, this you. shit, baby. <laughs> 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 we got to ameliorate this shit. He about to take that and roll with it. Yeah. You got today, to. Today, I'm going to hear a Bro, you got to yeah. come to, to the Friday. Well, yeah. I'm going to say it out of the camera. You got to come to Big Fat Friday, bro. I'm coming. You need the energy, for real. I can't wait to come. For real. We might need to make him an honorary forever guest. I can't wait to come. Yeah, he can't. He's yes. gonna be here with bells on. <laughs> it should be. I'm gonna show you the room. He's gonna lay his clothes out at night. <laughs> like, this is a big fat Friday. I'm gonna be there with That's what I wanna do, man. Cause I be wanna. The, the, the nigga be needing to, this shit be needing to be heard, man. Yeah, it be real shit. Though. It yeah. be raw shit. It, this ain't like, no scripted. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Made up dress. No, we got, we got to give them that raw shit. Mm-hmm. That they, and this really what they really need the raw shit. Exactly. Because they're so caught up on the fake shit and all the smoke in the mirror. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Fact. They all need the that smoke shit. In man. The mirror. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I got to use it. Let me write that down. I got to use it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. That shit. No, they got, they got, is got very to very intelligent. He yeah. intelligent, yeah. like, for sure. Like, I sit there and just be hearing him, and he just be going off, and he mean it, too. He mean everything he say. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what make, what make you slow up on like, like, cause at one point you were dropping them motherfuckers every other week, every mm-hmm. other, you know what I'm saying? What make you slow up on that shit? The income not coming. Not the music, I'm talking about like, like, like how you were getting the game, yeah, giving Instagram. them jewels and shit. Oh, what made me slow up on it? Yeah. I, I be wondering that too, man. Cause, cause I, don't I, want, I don't wanna make my pay, cause I'm still an artist, you know what I'm saying? But I don't just be wanna, and I find my page just full of that. But that's that's, 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 that's what that's really that's they a get gift. more yeah, and they get more they, I, they get more views or any, than anything mm-hmm. more comments they engage with that more than anything that's a gift and that just be raw mm-hmm. shit but then like I just be feeling certain ways then when I see they on and shit I just be like damn 
You know what I'm saying? I don't know what make me slow up. I don't know. Go I on. got so much to say. Well, we're going to get it. We're going to get it at you. Yeah. Oh, no. yeah. It, it yeah. might yeah. not even be on the gram. It might not even be on the Friday shit. It might not be for the gram. It might be be need for another platform. Nah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Nah, because you 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 may got them put some shit out and just think you just saying some shit or a vent, but that shit could change a nigga life, bro. For real, mm -hmm. certain For shit real. niggas be in my DM telling me certain shit that I could be really going through saying some shit. Yeah, mm -hmm. really sneak this in anybody, sneak this in my wife, and nigga be like, bro, you know what? I felt that. Yeah, mm -hmm. because niggas be going through the same shit that another yeah. nigga going through. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That shit just you know it just be raw shit that need it. Like you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say I got it. Well, I know what's right and know what, but I. I know it's wrong too. You know how you feel. Yeah. And that's a lot of niggas feel how you feel. Yeah. And I ain't got Facts. the platform to say it, so I might just need to say it more for the niggas who can't. Facts. Mm -hmm. You know, can't then, be heard. And then now people not only buying to your music, they buying it to you. Yeah. To you. That's, that's exactly. Exactly. That's bigger exactly. than the music. Yeah. For real. Yeah. And that's why niggas still got respect right now. Cause me, it ain't music, the nigga. Yeah, nah, yeah, for sure. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Just on some real shit. Cass, what's your thoughts on the whole um, abortion shit that happened in the laws? And... <laughs> man, that shit weak. Mm. That's weak. I just feel like, man, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't even want to hear that baby weak. in the background, though. I don't like that because I feel like you know you never know nobody you know, a person's situation for you to right. just tell them they can't go in. Fuck that. I just pray it don't happen. That's all I'm gonna say. Because mm. women don't have a, it's like they really just trying to take everything away from women. And, you know, black men, it's like they just want, they just want us to be there. And you do what I say you do. Like, you can't have a voice. You can't have an opinion. You can't get an abortion. You can't, I don't like that shit. What stuff like, happened we don't like, though, like, let's let's say that. Let's say George Floyd, don't, don't we collectively maybe think that if we don't do nothing about it, ain't nothing going to change? Yeah, and I don't mean, like, like, and I, some people unpopular opinion i get marching you know what i'm saying people want to march and protest and stuff like that but if you like if if everybody in here gets disrespected by someone right mm -hmm. and you don't do shit about it you don't get disrespected don't again disrespect. but what could you do about i don't know i don't have that answer you know like you can sit there like what do we do to stop this all you can think is march now when a certain group of people didn't like some shit that was going on they went up to washington dc and expressed the fact that they didn't like shit was going on you feel me Trump? Yeah. Trump, no. yeah. But it's just yeah, nah, but it's but see, I ain't saying do that. That's not what no, I'm no, kicking. No, I'm no, just no. saying. But what I'm saying is with that certain group of people, that certain group of people have a certain kind of privilege that sure. we do we not have. have. So it's like sure. us as people, what do we do? So if we had went a, we had to that go privilege to... in the sixties when we was getting sprayed down and bit by dogs and all that shit, we was just standing These niggas ain't trying to get sprayed and get bit. I'm just saying. Shoot at no. Niggas ain't trying to do that. It's a different day and time. It's gonna be a mass murder. Oh God, like short niggas, niggas, yeah. People. But it's just like even like like how you were saying like with the abortion shit or whatever. It's just it's just so fucked up because it's like the government is so preoccupied with so many other like non-important minuscule things that them trying to like make a statement with this and make a big deal out of this to take this away because this is something that gives I guess like a certain group of people like you said the right to be able to decide and to choose it's like they were i feel like they were using this to try to prove a point because of the way that the house is structured when this was voted in 50 years ago or you know what i'm saying however long mm. so I it's like it's a distraction too yeah exactly and it's I just like it's just fucked up because it's just like it's so many other things that need to be corrected and need to be fixed till this should have been the least of their worries and if they were real people with real mm -hmm. feelings and real emotions and real understanding mm -hmm. about the real purpose of this bill and the real meaning behind it and why it even came into effect in the first place they would understand how exceptionally ludicrous it would be to even mm -hmm. think about taking this right away mm -hmm. from this certain group of people mm -hmm. I don't know. That shit just kind of pissed me off. Like that's why I, it, you see, I couldn't even say much. That yeah, shit made like, me so mad because what? But you know one thing about 
black people, they gonna figure that shit out. Man, they gonna have, they gonna, they gonna have plan B for the low round there, motherfucker. Like man, they got they a plan A, I got a plan B, and I got a plan C. Which yeah, one? Yeah, and then shout out to all the man. companies and the and corporations. And you got niggas who doing them. Man, yeah, come on, man. All these girls who know how to do that post-op surgery shit, they ain't gonna know how to do abortion. Next thing you know, they gonna have a line in somebody's basement. I'm gonna be so ass. Man, what else, though? It's a way around everything. So the doctors, so what you think them doctors who do abortion, where they gonna go? Right. You think they ain't gonna still be practicing? Cause they know how to do it. Cause the money's still there. Cause, Cause you gotta think they about to stop making money. Yeah. What them tables and everything? All the utensils finna go to. They about to stop making money. So they about to figure out. Okay, let these people know. I'm making that's money down here. A lot here. of clinics you know and shit saying? too. <laughs> and it's a lot of. They got the pill too. You just take not the Plan B. They got abortion pill, right? Right. Yeah. And not that's only are saying, you taking so away all rights, you're taking away other people's jobs. What you mean? Like, if you're over 150 pounds or, like, 100 and something pounds, that shit, it doesn't, it's not strong enough to, like... Who said that, Jay? Okay. Take two. I could just say that. Double up. I just yeah, feel like... Saying, man. man, niggas ain't wearing no they took away right. <laughs> <laughs> shit out of that, man. I'm just being real. They took away the Somebody right. wearing some They took away other people's job, and now they ain't people don't have a job going to have a job under the table. See, these niggas yes. ain't wearing condoms with not that girl. They're giving who life? They're giving a doctor's life if they get caught giving somebody an abortion. They get 100000 I heard that, too. You know how many people like take a know. risk? I heard that, too. Every day? Huh. Yeah, people, people take risks every people day. Take you don't every think day. some people going to still try? I think so. Yeah. Because it's like now, it's now that the abortions are illegal, it's going to be like a black market situation. So the price of the abortion is going to go up. So niggas are finna go get that money. Yeah, and who who telling? It's about supply and demand at this point. How you point. know I had abortion? Who telling? Right. That's so true. They really are trying to... Um, white people are becoming extinct because so many uh, mixed babies and stuff. So the abortion laws to stop white people from having abortions is not really a black and brown thing. Uh... It's to stop white people from having abortions because in the next few, in the next 10 or 20 years, it's not going to be a lot of white people. They're becoming extinct because of mixed families. No so they're trying to stop white people from having abortion so they can bring the white population back up. So this shit's so do crazy. Don't fact, though, because you stick your black and, dick and, in and, anything. And, and that baby black. who made that decision, a white man. Sure. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so. Oh, that, and you know what? Damn, I ain't even know. It's a shortage on them. Yeah, that makes sense. It's yeah, a but it's a lot of stand up. Shout out to all the companies and stuff that are standing up and like providing abortion assistance to their employees that have to travel to other states and go other places to I get feel abortions. Like and set up failure, because if you come back home, you still can't face an offense. And it's illegal. What you mean? If it's illegal in your state, then how you can't come back home? But shit, if you, if you go get the abortion, when you come back home, that baby is gone. You can't. Yeah, yeah you didn't commit a crime yeah. in that state, though. You didn't commit a crime in that state. You... Right. I seen That's some shit this like morning the on the news. Yeah. Once you go yeah. over there, you, it's done. Yeah. There's nothing you can do. It is what it is. Yeah. yeah. The Cal County lady says she is not holding nobody accountable for their health issues. Are oh, you talking about like with that? <laughs> <laughs> this morning, the lady in the oh, yeah, Cal County said she yeah, would not be prosecuting anybody <laughs> because of spending their money on somebody else's health issues. Mm. That's what she said. Mm. So I say, yeah, damn right. In the Cal County? Yeah. That was on New This Morning, the lady in the Cal County. Yeah. She, if them folks change them laws, she gonna lose her job. Yeah, she out of there. That's how it go. <laughs> These folks I got think it's there. fucked up, but we living in a fucked up world. Yeah, it's, it's all the way up. around. Everything all together, is yeah, fucked like, What man. do we do, though? Niggas just gotta live life. I was just, trying, live I was just trying to say that's that. What that's what I was just trying to say. Live life stay in your bubble, man. Let's go back to everything else, trying to change shit with everything else, the way the world live. And just you find yourself fucked up trying to do all that when you just stay in your bubble and enjoy yours. Yeah, you gotta just enjoy this shit while you're here. Shit crazy, cause they, they definitely killed and... all the niggas who tried to get them. Man, what? No, they did. Mm. Yeah. Last thing we'll talk about, what about like conflict resolution? When you when you look up on the news and see people getting killed because there was not enough mayonnaise on the sandwich and that was, just yeah, that shit was a lot of just. Up. That's Weird. crazy, that's crazy stuff. Up. How y'all think people can just resolve their conflicts? Because we all get mad. We've all been to the point, right? But that wasn't even a conflict, though. That was like, that was some bullshit. Probably like, some mental health shit. That's what man, I think. That shit was, or that maybe shit some was other some shit. Lame shit, some pussy no, shit. No, this is the like, worst. Yeah. This is the worst. But how you think, like, young boys and young girls should solve their conflicts? 
And this could be as simple as like social media. If, if more people stop, I mean, if more folks, you know what I'm saying? The 10 minute rule. Put that shit to the side. I got a 72 hour rule. I do too. I do yeah. too. Yeah. I but but back, in the heat of the moment of most situations, wait, man. Like, I do, I, I, even in heat of the moment, Tracy, she tells, I just me sit shit. down and I just be like, like, even when a storm going, I'm like that tree that just stands still. Like, hold on. Like, let me just figure this out, get my mind right. I think people just impulsively, they think what they yeah. impulse, like they just go. Mm -hmm. And I be like, nah, stop, bae, stop. Because <laughs> Tracy was one of the people. Mm -hmm. But he's learning how to just yeah. like, nah, see, I'm glad I waited it out. Because mm -hmm. now he wouldn't call him and go off right quick. Now he like, nah, I, you know, it ain't even worth it. I think that people should give them times, give themselves some time to think. And mm -hmm. make sure that you react how you need to react. For sure. Mm -hmm. I don't think you should just react. Is, sure. that hard? Is that hard if everybody got a gun on the hip? Uh, well, you know what? Yeah, because everybody got every, the biggest nuts different. when they got the pistol. Everybody's yeah, everybody different, you know, because I ain't going to sit up here acting like I'm goody two-shoes, but shit, I be chilling. Mm. Until, like, if you put your hands on me, that's different. Yeah, that's different. But, like, when something yeah. going on, it's like you kind of got to give yourself some time to think. Like, is it worth, what, what am I risking? What's going to happen? There you go. Mm -hmm. and what then, I'm risking. All right, bam. Okay, I'm about to make the decision. And I'm okay when, when I'm behind bars because I made my decision off a, a, yeah, I'm a ready clear to mind. Lay down. Not mm -hmm. off a yeah. mad mind, yeah. not off an emotional mind. Mm -hmm. I'm, it was a clear mind. That's all I can say. I think everybody should get themselves some time to think. No mm -hmm. facts, Queen. Yeah, mm -hmm. no facts. Mm -hmm. Biggest facts, biggest facts. Any game, any motivation for the people, the fans, the young people out there from Cash Doll and Tracy T, everybody's favorite couple? What we want to tell them, babe? Well, just period in life? Yeah. You know what? Um, and it's my favorite thing to say. But, like, I believe in manifestation. And I for believe, sure, sure. Um, you know, what you feed will grow. Mm. And starve negativity, yeah, sure. feed positivity, because mm -hmm. what you feed will grow. Mm -hmm. And pay attention to things that you like more than what you don't like. I feel like people pay so much attention to things that they don't like. And they just, they manifest it. And they're giving it light. They're giving it the thought. Mm -hmm. Pay attention to the good. Because mm -hmm. what if it all work out? Pay attention to that and not just, oh, what if it don't and oh, my life is mm -hmm. over because that's what right. you give in life to. That's all I got to say. Mm -hmm. I like that. Received. Yes. <laughs> right. Go. Received. God damn sure put all the nigga, all the, all the, all oh, yeah. my engine to the negative. The overthinking. <laughs> the overthinking. <laughs> the being real. We're trying to get bank on meditation my so man. you can stop Crazy overthinking. Like, you know what? Y'all are cool. Niggas do like, niggas, niggas, niggas PTSD or some shit. Yeah. That's what it is. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that might be what it is. Nah, that's what it is. For sure. I feel it, it though. You be mad though. She like, like, hey, you finna talk. And I'm coming at him with the evil eye out the rip. Nah, yeah. home up to some. It's some book. Well, really? What, what, what am I, nah, why can't I come in like home on some good shit? Yeah. Right. Home, yeah. He got the good shit going on. I'm yeah. coming at him. Nah, he on some fuck shit. Let me see what's happening. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's balanced, though, because he, I be thinking so good and shit, a motherfucker be fucked up. And he be like, nah, bae. Hell no, nah. and he be yeah. right sometimes. So I'm yeah. like, hell yeah, I'm yeah. glad I got his ear too. Cause yeah. then I'll be right. like, I'll be on my shit like, nah, you know, motherfucker want to come over your house and no, nah, all right, yeah, babe, you right, fuck that, that bitch, <laughs> trying to be my friend, babe. <laughs> 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 like no, nah, I peeped her, babe. She trying to come over here, uh uh. <laughs> right. <laughs> Take us home with some words, Tracy. Huh? Take us home with some words, man. Get you some money. Get but you learn some... how to what to do with the money. Like, you know the word. <laughs> I'm in the school. I'm in the school. I'm in the school. <laughs> now, nah, for real though, man. Like I said, yeah, that's it right there. Get you some money. Know what to do with it, man. You know what I'm saying? Know what you want to do. Get you a plan, man. You know what I'm saying? But you can have a plan. One thing about it, you can have a plan and no money, right? And you trying to work your plan, but you get the money. Shit, money open up all kind of shit. So. Get you some money, and then you can figure out what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Know what you want to do, cause. Say so if you feel. What you tell young Trace? What I tell young Trace? Yeah, if you if, if you could talk to yourself, like when you first first finna jump out of the pool, what you would have told yourself? Man, to be for real, I don't regret. I don't regret. I don't regret none of that shit, man. Like, I ain't saying regret. I'm saying like what you the gave your what kind of game you would have gave yourself. Okay, what game I would gave myself back then? Mm -hmm. Um. I want to. I want to trust so many people. You know what I'm saying? Don't trust too many people, mm. cause the trust it kind of we got down. Yeah, and it's fucked up, cause you gotta trust people in the mm -hmm. world. But the trust it we kind of 
you really fucking with a motherfucker and it trusting them, it, 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 that 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 would spark a lot of the wrong shit. Just seeing how, how other people play it. So mm-hmm. me putting my heart in the song, and then me not getting that in return, it kind of turned me sour to motherfuckers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. When motherfucker crossed me when I was young, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It kind of made me feel a certain way toward mm-hmm. people. You mm-hmm. feel? Right. So now it's like I would have been. I just would have been more focused on my bubble instead of trying to. Have so much going on with so many people yeah. in, in, in the mix with it. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, so you feel like you can't let yourself be vulnerable in no situation besides the little baby, your baby, your kids, and your your girl. Your family, man. Yeah. Yeah, because you'll be surprised you'll have a certain love for certain motherfuckers. Yeah, and the, the whole time, they trying to take from you or, mm-hmm. or, or Bring you down. take everything you got up. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Ain't nothing wrong with building something from around, like, because I. It's just, you know, you got to catch up with your kind, man. And right. it, and it right. be fucked up when you think everybody your kind when it ain't. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You, you got to just catch up with your kind and know who who. Mm. And it's hard to hold, know who who and everybody mad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's hard sure. to know, so you just know what I'm saying? Up, just, just stay prayed up. Keep them Boom. motherfuckers from around you. Boom. Fuck yeah. with your fam, yeah. man. And, you know what I'm saying? I judge a nigga off your resume, man. Mm. Thanks. Big shout out to Cash Doll and Tracy T pulling up on yeah. Big Facts. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to the folks at Chorus Life for rocking with us too on this episode of Big Facts. Give him your email, right? Oh, okay. The champion oh, sound, oh, man. man. We locked in. Uh, oh, yeah, let me to Cash Brats. I'm coming with some music. I just got done filming. It's got to go down. I'm coming. I'm yeah. coming. I'm okay. coming. I'm what coming. you call it, Cash Brats? Yeah. Cash Brats. That's yeah. hard. Yeah. 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 They've been in my DM like, oh, so it's fuck us since Cash and, and BMF. Oh no! So oh coming, my God! <laughs> yeah, man, she coming. Yeah, she coming. She done motivated me to come. Like she got me coming, y'all. And we coming. We come, motherfucking coming. <laughs> yeah. Two, two, two hundred thousand to show. Two hundred thousand to show. Man, put you know it together. Saying? We coming yeah. home with a half a M. <laughs> we time. did that. Yeah. Hey, like, take out the M and put a W on that. Ain't a me. It's a we thing. There you go. <laughs> yeah, he yeah go. man. Y'all, he will go. He will. Hey, but believe this or not, oh, they about to bet. Like, man, I'm. I, this this to everybody, man. Get you a partner, man, cause that shit help when you got a partner, man. Mm-hmm. Life is the right one. The right one. Yeah, the right, yeah. Yeah, the right body. But everybody, you know in your heart who the fuck. Well, I can't say you know who. And not a leech either. Nah, yeah, you nah, gotta nah. get the right one. You gotta right get the right one that balance you out. You man, balance you, you out. Good it. partner, balance you out, man. Yeah. Get you find somebody who got them. A lot of nigga need it, not a female need it, man. Find you somebody right. you can come tell the world about this shit, like Tracy do it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I ain't you never you spoke on like she never. said. She ain't never did that. Shit. I ain't never did. She ain't never did. That's just one hour we moved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And that crazy. We boom and this shit for real, like yo. Yeah. Yeah. And real what, people. I, I what I that. gotta say to these women? Stop dating for money. Mm. Please, because mm. first off, it's like it become it's becoming a cycle where. All they got to off, all they want is money, money, money. When well, you can't find love, and you can't, you you don't find this vulnerable thing about yourself that you give someone, and y'all y'all build this. And you can't do that with somebody that you don't genuinely love. Mm-hmm. I stop dating for money. That's hard. Make mm-hmm. your own money so you can date who you who who is best for you. Mm-hmm. Stop that shit. That shit's irritating. That. Choose who you want. Choose, yeah, you cause you get to choose who you want and build yeah. and be happy because now you have somebody you want. You don't have a nigga that you gotta go home that to you're obligated that you to. can't you obligated because you need it and as soon as y'all done he taking all that shit. Mm-hmm. Date a nigga I mean sorry but date a nigga that you want and you like and you outside because of love. Because you have Y'all get the together together. Y'all get the world again. Y'all yeah. get the world again. Y'all figure the rest out. got the right shit. Because Y'all now it's like this, yeah. my, when you go home, you happy. You not, you ain't dragging your feet walking in the crib like, man, this nigga about to I ain't try to fuck me, bro. I don't feel like it irritating. No, bro. Man, like a nigga told me, man. <laughs> 50 said this, 50 say. Shit, okay, the girl wants you for the money. But that you give her and buy everything she want, how you gonna keep her happy? Yeah. She got everything now. Yeah. So now how she damn. gonna smile? Yeah. Damn. I say, damn. I say, now that's some real shit. How how what's, what's she got? How she gonna stay happy now? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? She got everything now. You can't do shit for her. She ain't she, she don't fuck with you. Right. <laughs> she fuck with the money. Yeah. She don't fuck with you, so she ain't happy, man. You know. So yeah. Damn. Yeah. Appreciate y'all putting up on our game. Nah, for sure. Name but big facts dropping, man. Bank screen, Jay, man. I love y'all, man. We love you. Yeah. 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 Big hey. shout out to Cars Light once again. www.bigfactspod.com. Salute. Salute.